the start of hurricane season just over a week away. The state of Florida is preparing for the possibility of one or more storms making landfall this year. As an John Woodrow joins us now in the studio with how emergency management teams in the Sun Coast are making sure that they are ready for the worst if the worst does happen here. Well, Mike, emergency operations centers in Sarasota and Manatee County ran hurricane simulations today, right? letting emergency response teams see what managing a real disaster would be like. It's safe enough to get out on the street, so crews are out there and, and all the information is flowing in. The Sarasota County Emergency Operations Center is fully activated in the wake of Hurricane Jones, a simulation designed by state meteorologists. The storm made landfall seven days ago. In the EOC, the weather isn't as perfect as it looks today. In fact, Bird Key and everywhere else west of 41 was hit with a 15-foot storm surge, putting it underwater. And emergency crews are just now getting out there to assess the damage. So all the lift stations, uh, sewage plants, electrical situation, you know, electrical stations, all of those things could have some damage. Heading north into Manatee County shortly after 11 a.m., the only traffic on these roads is first in teams clearing the road of debris. It's all hands on deck at the Manatee County EOC, with over 200 people filling 18 ESF stations. We've had several hosp hospitals that had uh, various damage. Uh, we currently have one of our hospitals being partially evacuated. Exercise designer Sharon Tarman is throwing a number of twists at each emergency service desk. We injected four tornadoes into the scenario to give responders a chance to work through those uh, challenges. While this is all only a test, in the EOC's press room, Emergency Management Chief Don Hermes said why it is important to keep everyone prepared for a worst case scenario. They say every year we have about a 1 in 20 chance of getting hit by a storm. So the reality is there. It's not a matter of if, but a matter of when. Mike, Sarasota County has a number of resources that you can use to help prepare for a hurricane. In addition to this guide, which you can pick up at any Sarasota County library or at the county building, uh, they will also be hosting a, Sar a hurricane preparedness seminar Tuesday from 6 to 8 p.m. at Bayfront Park. All right, now that looks like it's going to be very informa in, in, informational. What if you can't get there? What kinds of things should people, for example, have around the house? Well, the most important thing to keep in your house is a hurricane preparedness kit. And in that kit, you'll need water, food, and medications that'll last you three days. And it's also a good idea to have batteries and flashlights in the event of a power outage. You never know what you might need. So again, it's good to be prepared. Always be prepared. Thanks, John.